Hey everyone, in this video we are going to follow up on the video covering multi UV sets in 3D Coat. And in this case, we're going to look at the new support for importing and exporting with UV tiles. As I mentioned in that video, 3D Coat works with just a singular texture space. There are no tiles or patches within the application itself. But what it will do is upon import, it will convert tiles or UV patches to this singular workspace. And as you can see here in the upper right hand corner, I can toggle between the different maps. Upon export, I'll go ahead and go to export to 3ds Max. I'm going to use the app link for that application. And generally, when you install an app link connection plugin for uh, 3D Coat, it'll want to install it in the My Documents 3D Coat Exchange directory. Once you go there, your application should have a subdirectory here. Okay. And I want to make sure to check export UV sets as tiles if that is indeed what I want. I hit OK. So I'm going to go over to 3ds Max. And I have my little icon here for the app link and it updated everything. I'm going to go ahead and close that. I'm going to go ahead and open the material editor and you can see just as with the exporting of just UV sets it still gives you the same arrangement a single multi sub object material okay so let's go ahead and give this model a UV map modifier. I'm going to open the uh, editor and if I zoom out actually I want to expand this a bit now if I zoom out just a bit you can see that it's arranged in tiles now and if you want to rearrange this uh, you can in the lower left hand corner here just designate how you want to move this so if I want to move this two places to the left I need to go negative two okay I'd have to select the all the elements first okay so negative two and then if I want to move it up one So there you have it. All right. So, and what I would need to do to make sure the texture maps line up is that same material for that map. I need to make sure that all my texture maps are offset to reflect their locate their new location. So that means just the same parameters that I put in in the editor. I need to put them also for the individual maps. So that would be uh, negative 2 and 1 in the V axis. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my 3D Code app link panel here. And now I'm going to send it over with per pixel painting in order to demonstrate the import. So I'm going to treat this as if it's a new scene. I'm going to continue. Okay, so I have my import dialog now, and I want to make sure that I check import tiles as UV sets. I'll hit OK. Okay, and there we have it. As you can see, 3D Coat converted the tiles. Okay, into regular UV sets that it can work with. If you go to the UV room, you can see what I'm talking about here. Upper left hand corner, you can cycle between the UV sets. Okay. All right, so that should conclude this look at importing and exporting UV tiles in 3D Coat.